Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have a quick eyeshadow tutorial for you guys for today. So if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. And I also want to add that I did use a new foundation and also a new contour and blush. So if you want to see what I use, then just keep on watching. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. So for my first eyeshadow, I used Coastal Scents Vibrant Azalea Fuchsia. And I applied that color with my e.l.f. A blending brush into my crease. So with this color I just applied it into my crease and blended downwards to the outer corner of my lid. My next eyeshadow, I took Vibrant Plum and Magenta, also by Coastal Scents, and I just swirled my brush into the two colors back and forth and also applied that into my crease. And the brush that I'm using is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. My next brush, my next shadow that I'm going to use is Orange Crush also by Coastal Scents and I just use that on a Giuseppe blending brush and I applied that right on top of the first pink that I placed and then I'm going to take Morocco by Makeup Geek and that's going to go also on top of Orange Crush. So I'm just doing, making sure I have a good transitional fade and then also for my brow bone I'm going to take Frappe by Makeup Geek and that's going to be my brow bone highlight. For my lid color, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take so quiche, I think that's how you say it, from um ColourPop. And that's how the jar looks. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how ColourPop eyeshadows look, but this one has like a hint of like lavender purplish glitters in it, but they're really fine. And this is um one of my favorite eyeshadows by uh ColourPop. And I just placed that onto my lid. Um, with my finger first because your finger gives you the most color payoff and then I just went ahead with the brush and um, swept that onto my lid as well. So with that first pink shade in that e.l.f. blending brush that I used the first time, I went back into the pink and just made sure that I didn't have any harsh lines and blended those two colors together. And then I went into Deep Grape with my e.l.f. angle brush and I defined my crease a bit more and just gave it a, just deepened the crease a little bit with the purple. Um, not necessarily cutting the crease, just defining it and I put it also into my crease just a little bit and make sure you blend it out because you don't want any harsh lines. Next I'm going to take my favorite um, liner and it's by Wet n Wild. I believe this was like $2.49 or something like that. Um, it's not the waterproof one. I like this one better because like I said the, um, in my previous videos the tip, the felt tip of it is smaller and it's just easier to to use. So that's what I use is by Wet n Wild to line my lash line. Now for my lower lash line, I did, I didn't show it in the video, but I used my um, eyeshadow primer and I placed that on my lower lash line. And then with that um, first e.l.f. blending brush that I used, I went into a Vibrant Plum and I used that on my lower lash line. And then I took that angle brush that I used with that purple. I went back into that purple um, deep grape and I placed that closest to my lash line. Mm -hmm. 
I then took that same Anastasia brush and I went into the pink, which is the Vibrant and Zillia Fuchsia, and then I just blended that at the bottom of my lower lash line to blend all the colors together. Then for my inner corner, I took Get Lucky, also by ColourPop, and it's just like a really pretty gold shade, and I applied mm -hmm. that into the inner corner of my eye. Now onto the face portion, I picked up the Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Makeup Foundation from Black Radiance and I got the shade Cocoa Bean. Um, I got this from Rite Aid, it was $4.99 and um, I'm glad that I picked it up because I just wanted to try something else from Black Radiance because y'all know the other foundation if you watched my previous video. Um, one of my previous videos with the foundation first impression, that foundation threw me all the way off. Um, but what I did notice with this foundation is as I applied it and it like kind of dried a little um, to my skin, I noticed it got darker. But then once I used my brush and everything to blend out, it matched me perfectly. Um, I think it's a really good color match. I think I do think they need to work on their shade range because it's only I've only seen about like five shades. Um, maybe not, but um, I really like the foundation, and I I know it's not full coverage. Um, it's probably light to medium, but it felt really good on the skin, and it blended out really, really well. So I just um, blended it out with my uh, foundation brush, and then I put a little bit more to the areas where I have discoloration, and then just blended it all with my beauty blender. And then now what I do sometimes is after I put my foundation on, I set my face with a powder. And then I go ahead and apply my concealer and do all the other good stuff. So I'm using my Fine Concealer by LA Girl. I'm using that to highlight. And then I went in with my NYX Got You Cover Concealer also in Deep. Um, I just wanted to use something else different in the video, but I really like this uh, concealer. It's just really thick, so you don't really need a lot. As you can see, if you're, um, I used like the rest of the concealer from under my eye to apply um, down, you know, in the below, below my contour. I'm just all over the place. So once after I do that, I blend out with my uh, beauty blender and the foundations both work really well together and they blend it out really well. So I'm just doing that with my damp beauty blender. So now to set that concealer in place, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set my under eye and set everywhere where I place that concealer. And it's just going to keep the concealer from creasing and all of that good stuff. I really love this and I don't think I'll use anything different, honestly. So what I'm just doing is just instead of baking, well I'm kind of baking still, but I'm just really pressing the powder into the skin instead of just setting it on top and dusting it away. I try to get as much um, product in there and just be, uh, let it melt with the beauty blender, pressing it into the skin. So for my base contour, I am using my Pure Cosmetics Contour Stick. And I also blend that out with my beauty blender. So I place that everywhere where I usually contour. Um, and then I'm blending my nose contour out with my finger. I felt that worked that worked the best for the cream contour. So these are the two products that I'm talking about. Um, I got it from the beauty supply store from Nika K, Nika K New York. And that's the contour. 
and it's it's a really good contouring powder they have a lot of shade well it's, I think it's three shades and they're cool toned which is really good because some contours can make you look really orange cruise and that's what I used and I just used my cruise <laughs> and I just used my morphe um, contouring brush I'll put the name down below because I don't remember it oh my god cruise cruise oh my god <laughs> I think he was just doing that on he was just really just just staring at me just doing it on purpose cruise oh my god anybody want him I'll ship them to you so I'm just and and look at that Dallas all in my face like always like what's that what you buy now let me check that out first. <laughs> so I'm just using the lighter, the lighter shade of the. Oh my God, I'm using the lighter shade to, to contour my. Oh my God, I need my own space. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I'm using the lighter shade to contour my nose. I will edit that out, but never mind. Okay, so once after I contour, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown bronzer. And I applied that on top of, kind of on top of my contour, wherever I contoured. And then I go back into my face powder. I use my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder to just make sure everything's all blended all really well together. The other thing I got was this Blush Duo, also by Nika, Nika K New York. And I used the pink shade. It looks darker in person. And it's a really pigmented blush. I really like it. And these were only $1.99. And there's a lot of shades in the blush. There's a lot of shades in the blush. And they were both $1.99 each. To highlight, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood High Illuminator. I really, this is like my favorite highlighter, one of my favorites. Um, and I just used that to highlight, and I used a e.l.f. blush brush to apply it. For my lips, I wasn't wearing this um, when I was wearing this eyeshadow look, but my my hands gravitated towards my Lena Lashes Lucius Liquid Lipstick. This was actually one of the ones that I liked. And that's basically the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about my, my children back there. And I hope you guys enjoyed the look. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Or give me some ideas. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.